Now, let's say you want to build a house. If you start thinking, oh, I want to build a house, to build a house I need fifty lakhs, but I have only fifty rupees in my pocket, not possible, not possible, not possible. The moment you say not possible, you're also saying I don't want it. So on one level, you're creating a desire that you want something. On another level, you're saying I don't want it. So in this conflict, it may not happen. Someone who has some faith in a god or in a temple or whatever, who is a simple-minded, faith works only for those people who are simple-minded. Thinking people, people who are too much thinking, for them it never works. A childlike person who has a simple faith in his god or his temple or whatever, he goes to the temple and says, Shiva, I want a house. I don't know how, you must make it for me. Now in his mind, there are no negative thoughts. Will it happen? Will it not happen? Is it possible? Is it not possible? These things are completely removed by this simple act of faith. Now he believes Shiva will do it for him and it will happen. So is Shiva going to come and build your house? No, I want you to understand, God will not lift his little finger for you. What you refer to as God is the source of creation. As a creator, he has done a phenomenal job, there's no question about it. Could you think of a better creation than this? Is it in anybody's imagination to think anything better than what is there right now? So as a creator, he has done his job wonderfully well, but if you want life to happen the way you want it, because right now, the very crux of your happiness and your well-being is this. If at all, if you're unhappy, <laughs> the only and only reason why you're unhappy is, life is not happening the way you think it should happen. That's all it is.